Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got some more products from Beauty Big Bang, and they were kind enough to send me some more goodies to share with you and to um, demo. So, I've got their little card here, and they've got, um, you know, the Instagram at Beauty Big Bangs, and then they're also on Facebook, and I will have information linked below, and there's their website. And they've got just a an array of products um, but before I get started I want to tell you what's on my nails because we are going to just I'm not just going to talk about them today I'm going to use all of them I'm going to use everything that they sent I've started off with Nailtex Formula 2 and Eliana's collection and this one is Money Shower beautiful green polish that's on these two and then I have also applied Eliana's collection Mink Floor and I have topped them all off with some Posh Top Coat to get them to dry down now here are the products I will be playing with today. I've got their water marbling tool. And here's the coat on that. Can't wait to play with that. And then I've got this like gold flaky glitter dust looking stuff. We're going to play with that. And then I have this other one that looks like stones. I will pull them out of the package here in a minute. And then I also have these laser foils real fun. So let me get everything out of the packages and we're going to get started playing. Alrighty my friends, I'm back. I'm going to do some striping tape with this, but I wanted to show you if I can get it open. <laughs> I had it open earlier. Are you kidding me? Okay, we'll have to open that in a minute. But Alrighty, I am back and I am ready to do some playing. Sorry, I got a little something going on over here. Okay, so this is the first little pot I wanted to show you. It's like little crushed up rocks or gems or seashells or something. It's very unusual. Um, I'm going to play with that. And I'm also going to play with this little gold, flicky looking stuff. This is kind of out of my comfort zone because <laughs> it's messy. <laughs> so, um, but to get started on that, I'm going to be using some just nail, you know, nail glue stuff. It's the stuff you use when you use foils. And I'm going to, oh, before I forget, this one, I want to do something special with it. I've got a couple of pieces of little, you know, uh, what do they call those? Vinyls. <laughs> and I'm going to put them down here. If I can get them straight, that's my thing with vinyls is trying to get everything straight. And I, don't, I think these vinyls came from Twinkle Tea. You guys know I had trouble with the whole vinyl thing. I was not happy with the ones I had. So, Okay, now we're going to go in with some foil glue. And I'm just going to put that in between these two lines. sure I cover it really well. Okay, and while it's wet, I'm going to go ahead and pull them off just like you would if you were playing with polish. And then, of course, the, the nay nayer in me it says I have to get Woody out and, you know, do a little bit of cleanup. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. And then for the gold one, I kind of wanted to do like a gradient on the tip. So I'm going to be doing the foil glue kind of haphazardly, but very thin, very and I'm going to put some, just dab it up here. And then for the ring finger, I'm going to do the laser tape, or the laser tape, good gravy. The laser foil and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some foil glue to that one too and let that dry <clears throat> and while all of this is happening these are drying I'm gonna be water marbling on this one and I'm just gonna go old school with it and do the tape not going to deal with latex today. I'm just going to go old school on it. Because I can. 
you know, I mean, if you run out of latex, you should still have backups. And this is, I don't, I'm not out of latex, but this is, this is the backup version. Just tape that finger up. And I've got my little cup of room temperature water right here. I'm going to slide that other stuff out of the way some. And I'm going to be water marbling with Eliana's collection, Money Shower, and Mink Floor. And we're going to get these out here ready to go. And I'm very, very excited to play with this um, water marbling tool. Very excited. So we're just going to build a bullseye. Just like I do always, go around the cup. And these water marble really nice. I do like how well they they play well in the water. A couple more drops. slide those out of the way so I don't tip them over. And let's try this little water marble tool out. So we're going to go up to the top and down to the bottom. Out to the sides. And then I'm going to go in. Dip. And I think I'm just going to dip right here. Just go on and dip it. Dip it nice. And I am going to clean up with the same tool. I figure it's all cleanable. Just like I would with my toothpick. And I am pinching the cup with my finger and my thumb. So I don't knock it over. And that does clean up really nice. It wipes off really easy. Alright, here we go. Real easy. And there we go. Excellent. Totally loving it. I'm going to get this tape off of here real quick. Sorry, out of frame again. It's kind of my thing. So there we go. Look. And even using the tape, I barely have any cleanup. I'm really liking that. So, water marble tool. Ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner. All right, I don't know if these are quite ready, so I'm going to give these a minute more to dry. Okay, and I'll be I'm right back. Now, the gold one came with a little applicator, you know, a little um, eyeshadow applicator, but um, the other one didn't, so I don't know if I'm just supposed to maybe just dab them on. And that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use my fingertip and dab them on. It's a really neat effect. I'm really liking that. Kind of make sure it's all mushed down really nice. Okay, and I'm going to move the gold one out of the way just a little bit. Now I have this old brush that I'm going to use to just kind of dust off some of the excess. I do not want that, you know, going into my top coat. So, there we have it. And we will be top coating that one here in just a minute. But I'm going to put the lid on it so I don't knock it over. So, I do like that. So, definitely, this would be good for when you're doing, like, geode nails. Okay, now for the applicator and the gold. So these are just like gold flakies. Now that I'm actually playing with them, I can kind of see what's going on with them. And I'm just going to tap those down. Because just like with the other, I don't want this to go into my uh, top coat. That's what I was trying to get to. Top coat. Okay. And just like with the other, I'm going to try to dust some of this off. Okay, I'm going to 
blow it off camera. Oh, that is so pretty. That is blingtastic. That, ugh. I figured the gold would go really nice with that green. So I'm going to put the cap on this one. And get it out of my way. And I guess all we need to do now is some top coat. And I would highly recommend having a paper towel over your work area because this is some messy stuff. It is. It is definitely some messy stuff. I'm going to top this all off with some posh top coat. And I'm not even going to worry about cleaning this up over here right now. I'll clean it up later. Capping the tips. Breaking out Woody. I will leave a link for Big Beauty Big Bang down below and all the products that I have used today on these nails. In case you're interested. And they have given me a discount code. I will have it listed also. And if my discount code gets used six times, they will sponsor a giveaway here on my channel. So we will definitely look forward to that and I am just using regular top coat on that and I would imagine that if you didn't want it to get that crinkly kind of it's kind of crinkled a little bit but not bad you would want to use a water-based top coat or um, what's the other thing I'm thinking of gel polish and I'm going to seal these in before we head on to that pinky I just hope I haven't let that stuff dry too much so there we go. I'm really liking that stuff. All right, now let's get on to the business of the, the foil. I'm going to use the other end to this to rub, 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 rub. And that's really not what I like to use. I normally use my orange wood stick or a cuticle pusher or something like that. These are so pretty. I've always loved stuff like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is just crazy bling out. Oh, oh my goodness, digging it. Now, I know I should use a water-based top coat, so let me grab one on this one, because I definitely don't want to mess up the Okay, I've got my little right. Undyne water-based top coat, and I'm going to go ahead and go over this foil nail with that. And then once it's totally dry, I will put a regular top coat on it. But I want to seal it in. Oh, you all, that is just wicked stinking gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to let that completely dry. I will add a glossy top coat to this and let it dry down. And that is it. That is all I have for today. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I'll have links for everything down below if you're interested in checking them out. And that is all I have for today. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.